Hello demigods, monsters, and gods alike. The Olympus Report here, and I am finally bringing you my next video in my react series. So far I've reacted to a Percy Jackson um, fan page on Facebook, and I've also reacted to some really amazing Percy Jackson cosplays. Today I will be reacting to your Percy Jackson OCs that you guys emailed to me at theolympusreport at gmail.com. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first submission is from Annabeth Chaser. And it looks like she's got a couple um, OCs here that she has created. So let's take a look. So it kind of looks like they're, they're sort of based off actual uh, Percy Jackson characters. So Owlgirl, I'm imagining, is Annabeth. Um, Seaweed Brain is Percy. Prophecy Girl, I'm guessing, is a Rachel, Rachel Elizabeth there, and I love how she gave her the paintbrush palette and easel. And love the wrench with the Leo look-alike. Just really interesting concepts, um, reimagining the characters in your own art and vision. So I think that is very cool and very creative and I love your drawing, so really good job. Up next, we have one from Emma Mars, and I do want to apologize um, if I'm mispronouncing anyone's names or any of the names of the characters. Um, so, this OC's name is Valentina Lovelock. I absolutely love that. I don't know if this was intentional, but like Valentina, very close to Valentine, love, Lovelock, absolutely love that play on words. And she is a daughter of Eros, which is super cool and super creative, not one of the main gods, which I absolutely love. I, and I absolutely love this artwork. Um, looks like it was created by this creator down here, Doll Divine Ink Scribble. Um, fantastic job. I, the first time I saw this, I absolutely fell in love. I love the elegance of this picture the curves the beauty of it i love the cherry blossoms coming down in the background this really cool like lantern thing that she's got going there i would imagine that this is a vital part of this oc's character kind of like riptide is to percy maybe something is happening with this lantern it's her weapon it's her power either way really cool i love the strappy boot design really works with the character. It is just really incredible all around. An incredible idea, an incredible design, incredible art. Absolutely love it. Up next we have an original character from Kelly Ludovice and absolutely love it. This art was commissioned by the lovely artsy Picoa? I'm Picacha. I'm sure that is wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. But either way, the name and watermark is right here. Incredible art. Incredible talent. This is Kelly's OC Annie, and she is a child of Hephaestus. And a little background. For context, the wheelchair, she was sent on a quest to find Calypso, nearly died in the process. Venom basically burnt her spine, making her legs weak. Wow. But we can see it is definitely not stopping her. What a badass. Um, I love the thought and detail put into this character and the background. You know, anyone can draw a character and say this is whoever, child of whatever. But I love the thought put into the story. Incredible. So let's take a closer look at this picture love the goggles, love the ripped Camp Half-Blood shirt, totally reads how badass this character is. You know, making, making this sword right here, absolutely awesome. The, the dirt smudges, just the detail in this picture is so 
incredible. The look of concentration on her face is absolutely awesome. Such a cool OC. So Kelly, really good job. I love Annie, and I think we need to write to Rick to get her put into a future book, because I would love to see it. Up next, we have an OC from Asher Braun, and this OC's name is Alexis. And a little background, she is a child of Hypnos and loves archery. However, she's pretty shy, and obviously being a child of Hypnos, if she has the time to do so, her favorite activity is sleeping. And I love the picture chosen for this OC. This absolutely looks like a child of Hypnos. I love the, the coolness to her. It, it definitely reads shy, but also reads powerful. A very interesting OC that definitely stands out from normal characters, definitely. And again, I love the thought put into the background of this character and the details you gave her to bring her to life. Next, we don't have any picture, but Evelyn sent in a submission and she did do some details for some different characters. So for the Apollo cabin, she created Mike Smith and Evelyn Johnson. And I really love the combination of those names together. Definitely sounds like names from the Percy Jackson universe. And then from the Hermes cabin, she also created David Williams, Andrea Swift, Emma John, and Emily Clark. Again, really great combination of names, really creative names. Um, I think I've said in the past, I went to school for film and I had to create a lot of films. I had to write a lot of scripts. I had to come up with a lot of names. And it is not easy to come up with good names. So really good job here, coming up with interesting character names. Up next, we have a submission from Sam Daglia, and this is Ira. And we've got a couple pictures here to really capture who this character is and the emotions. First, happy, smiling, absolutely love it. And I absolutely love the pencil work for this. You know, actual drawing is, I feel like a, a lost art form now, just since everything is so, technology is advanced, you know, everything is drawn online. You've even seen this in movies, you know, very, very few animation movies are actually drawn anymore. So I really appreciate this art style. Full on face shot, not smiling, a little passive, gives us a little more detail. Another smiling one, kind of looks like a dog pile maybe. Absolutely love it. I love the blushing in the face. Shocked, absolutely love it. And I absolutely love this cloak going on really adds to the character's design and style. And here, obviously, we can see a little bit more of the outfit. So it's it's kind of like a jacket, and I absolutely love it. Love the ripped jeans. Definitely reads into the character's style and makes you feel like you know this character just a little bit more. And again, absolutely love the artwork. So well done. To be able to just freehand something from your mind, that's a whole nother talent in of itself. I mean, I can copy things pretty well, but I can't just take a pen and paper and go. So this is super, super incredible. Side angle, love it. We can see more of the ponytail. Very cool, very cool uh, design. And I think that's it. So really cool OCs, really cool artwork, really cool design, really cool backstories. You guys are so talented and so incredible. Your imagination knows no bounds. I am honestly so impressed and I really love taking a look at your OCs. So that is all I have for you this week. I do plan to try and do more React um, videos. I am planning on reacting to maybe fan fiction, maybe some Percy Jackson memes, more fan art in general, really anything. So if you guys have any ideas, please drop them down in the comments below. And if you have any submissions that you would like me to react to, please email them to the Olympus Report at gmail.com. I would love to react to them. So until next time, please, as always, stay safe.